hello and welcome again to esiwakago youtube channel today we are doing some grocery shopping with you so that you can get to see how much uh food is food in america we're gonna start with these tomatoes here going for a uh, dollar and 28 for uh one lb all pound and also the avocados they are going for 68 right uh, around this time they are cheaper uh there was a time like a few months ago like two or a month ago they were very costly um next on our shopping list is uh some white onions going for a dollar and eight cents these are some apples uh they are from they are um, different types these are red uh they're also the green ones and on this section uh is where we have all the stuff that you're gonna use to cook in the kitchen as in everything you need uh, for the kitchen is here uh these are some courgettes some yellow onions and they are going for 78 cents less than a dollar for a pound not too bad okay and they are you can also buy in bag if you buy them in bag they are a dollar and 68 for this whole bag for all of these it's a dollar and 68 we have these are packed um apples i don't know who did that and they are going for five dollars and 28 for that whole bag the, it's not cheap uh, i won't lie to you but it's affordable uh, let's come to bagged to potatoes for all these you gotta pay two dollars and how many cents let's check it's two dollars and 78 78 cents plus tax anything i'm gonna show you is gonna have tax so whatever the price is uh add tax so around three dollars for that baggie and these are some cabbages the uh, cilantro which is denier um we also have uh kills and the cilantro are going for 88 cents that those are the dania and some cabbages um two broccoli for 244 per pound anything you see that is not bagged is gonna be sold as uh per pound i don't know what type of greens are those but I do know kales and this type of kale here is going for a dollar and sixty five for just that one bunch. So pretty much you're gonna use like five dollars to buy enough for your uh, family. Uh, those are the red cabbage. I do, I have never understood why they are red because me I see purple. Beetroot and cilantro here. Beetroot going for two dollars and forty four cents. Uh, the short law are going for 88 cents those are dania and it's a huge bunch and these are the peppers of different color and sizes like i told you anything you see that is not bagged that is not in a bunch it's gonna be sold per pound and these are the green onions um We have the courgette those are eggplants going for a dollar and 48 per pound courgettes going for a dollar and 48 asparagus going for two dollars and 48 for that bunch not too bad and these are some mangoes not too big uh, this season i think we are out of them it's a dollar and 
eight cents each. Each mango is a dollar and eight cents. And this is called some pears. The whole bag uh, is three LB, four dollars and eighty-eight cents plus tax. That's gonna take you all the way to five dollars for that bag. These are some carrots, and they have them in different uh, sizes. This is for three dollars and eighty-eight cents, and we have this for ninety-eight cents. It all depends with how much weight you gonna need or you gonna buy. So, um. We have letters and collards, packed collards, and they are they are cut. The letters are going for two dollars and twenty-four. And the the kale or collard that is cut going for two dollars and uh, forty-eight. And these are some mushrooms going for three dollars and forty-two. Um, they are of different sizes and shapes. We have baby carrots and the big ones. I needed to shop for that. That is a dollar and ninety eight for the ba for the baggie that I just took. They have the big one, the bigger one, the biggest one that is going for. Three dollars plus, and they have the other one that I showed you. Uh, these are some baby spinach. Sometimes you use them for cooking. Sometimes you can use them for salad. In if any way you would want to use them, and they are going for one that baggy is going for that one baggy is going for uh, two dollars and some cents. These are apples that are going to be sold by weight. And that's why you see that thing there to weigh. Um, and you can take according to how much you want. And then they're going to charge you uh, by weight. If you decide to take the bagged ones, then they're going to be sold uh, per bag. Each bag uh, per the price written. And... These are baking potatoes wrapped individually. And we have the fruits that are already prepared. They cost you an arm and a leg. As you can see, for that little um, little package, it's, on, it's $10 and the other one was $13. That is a lot of money. You better buy fruits. Go prepare them yourself. These are onions that are going to be sold by weight, $1.54 per pound. Quite big. Sometimes it's better if you can buy the bagged ones because these individuals, they cost a lot. But if you buy something like these, the bagged ones, they wouldn't be as much costly is the individual ones and they are going for four dollars and 48 cents before covid we used to buy these onions a dollar and something so you can only think how much uh, covid affected those are tomatoes for a dollar and 98 and they're gonna be per package we also have avocados has avocados uh, mostly they come from Mexico for $3.48 for just three of them. So each avocado is more than a dollar. These are baking potatoes um, that I showed you before. And here is the bakery. We have some bread. For example, that bread from Italy or the Italian touch, they cost uh, $3.62. Plus tax, they're going to take you uh, almost to uh, $4 for one bread. So pretty much things have been very expensive nowadays, such that when you do a shopping, it's going to cost you so much, like twice or three times what we used to pay before 2021. And I'm going to show you more bread. Uh, on the bread aisle 
um but first of all we're gonna see how much is meat costing and it's gonna be per pound this is not per package it is per pound whatever is per package i'm gonna tell you it's per package uh you're gonna see them shortly this is minced meat and they vary with if it's organic if it's grass-fed if it is what like this one is 13 uh, 79 per package and that's not a huge meat this is twenty dollars and ninety two for a meat that will be enough for your family so if you want to buy meat you're going to spend around twenty dollars for one time cooking meat and like i told you they vary. some are like 31 dollars like the one you just saw depending with where it came from if it is grass-fed if it is um gmo if it is non-gmo organic it's gonna be super expensive and this is pork pork is a little bit cheaper as you can see three dollars and 94 per pound and then we're gonna go to turkey and next is chicken i'm trying to show you things that you will use on daily basis that is why i'm skipping some and i came across this one these are chicken paws and they are five dollars and 84 i never knew we can find this here um i don't believe they are eatable edible uh these are chicken leg quarters uh a huge bag for eight dollars and 28 cents and i'll tell you for real you won't finish that one these are uh, thighs i mean drumsticks sorry and they also have this one uh chicken wings going for 16 dollars jesus christ that's a lot of money a lot of money um and trust me that package can be one time uh, depending with how many people you have in your family and how much they eat uh, moving on we're gonna find some fish in a few now we are in kisumu here tilapia this is tilapia a baggie going for 19 dollars and 32 cents trust me um that is no little money uh it's a lot of money but it's not a lot when you are consuming it that one is for 16 dollars and this is the one with uh, skin on the other one i showed you is doesn't have any skin and these are some shrimp and i'm gonna show you one baggie how much it's going for twelve dollars plus and depending with the package you can get even one going for six dollars and now we have the salmon uh someone going for eight dollars and 98 not per piece but per pound meat is mostly sold per pound unless it is written how much it's gonna cost according to the uh pounds that it has and now welcome to mutura world or aka uh, some sausages and we're gonna also find some hard dogs and they are all from pork beef and different flavors um, that you have ever thought could be found in the world okay they are big in size some some are slender some are like sticks some are so big big like this one here and um, they all come with different sizes and prices like these ones here are going for three dollars and 94 it's gonna be per package because they are packed okay all these gonna be per packet these are three dollars and 97 and not as many as you would think that's why i'm telling you uh prices for food have gone high and not just food but everything 
and unlike um it the only thing that is cheaper nowadays is air if at all you can be able to breathe it yourself and now we're gonna go to the butter aisle butter and but before we do get there let's let's check out um here we are uh let's check out the cheese and some other stuff here mm -hmm. let's go to the aisle for cleanliness because you're gonna need uh laundry soap every day you have to to wash your clothes and how much will one gallon i mean one um um how much will one gallon it's not a gallon i i know it's more than a gallon how much will it cost you probably let's do uh one month supply it's gonna cost you 14 dollars or it's gonna cost you 10 dollars depending with the company and also for dish soap it's gonna cost you um for a whole month supply it's gonna cost you not too much and also not too little money it's gonna be like five dollars a month or it's gonna be eight dollars a month depending with how much you use and um how much uh thick it is because also the quality depends so now let's go back to the cheese factory here and uh, we're gonna find how much they go for there are people who use cheese on daily basis but i do not think it's uh it's a must but for the americans they really do cheese and you see it's not cheap it is also gonna cost some money um now we have more and more of meat processed products here and i think they are not for daily use so i'm gonna skip and go to the next aisle for butter which is blue bud in other countries but here they call it butter um and how much like how much does it cost five dollars and 93 for this big pack and also seven dollars and 63 for that type of butter and eight dollars for the other type of butter it all depends with the brand and um amount the size of whatever you're gonna pick how much could eggs be going for by the way five dollars and 34 just for a dozen three dollars and 68 for a dozen how about if we check some organic eggs here how much could they be by the way sometimes they are not even um a huge difference and sometimes it's only because we think because it's organic it's gonna cost uh, an arm and a leg but sometimes it's a difference of cents and sometimes a different of a dollar that is four dollars and 68 for organic eggs all right not too bad but i believe five dollars for a dozen of eggs is also a high price uh milk uh, i do almond milk because i do not do cow milk so let's see how much uh one tetrapa gonna cost it's two dollars and 68 two dollars and 36 not 68 um and let's look for the cow milk for a gallon this is now a gallon and one gallon of cow milk um it gonna cost um uh, three dollars and 37 we used to buy this milk or a dollar a dollar and 60 something and if you go for the organic milk then it's gonna cost you something between seven dollars and 38 and six dollars and 98 or five dollars and some depending with the brand the company and how about juice for sunny d is two dollars and 68 and that's a lemonade for four dollars and 28 cents then plus tax and i'm going to show you more of the juices on the juice aisle mm -hmm. yogurts how much because if you have kids they need yogurts 
you're gonna be buying them yogurt so you can see the prices are ranges from for one can it ranges from five dollars uh six dollars depending with the brand usually i buy these and they cost a dollar and ninety for four they are a dollar and ninety for four trust me before covid we used to buy these i mean not even before covid but before the inflation came we used to buy those for less than a dollar or a dollar and 22 cents but you know what life does change and so do we okay all these are types of yogurts and for a one month supply of yogurt probably you you are looking into spending not less than twenty dollars because it also depends with how much your kids can consume and also yourself even big people consume um yogurt so how about we move on to uh, on to another aisle and get to check things how they are looking like maudu makihana atea gokumwenoyo uh, how much is water costing here? Uh, this is a pack of 32 water. I know you yeah, all know Dasani. Dasani is like a worldwide. It's like Coca-Cola. It's everywhere in the world. And also this brand, also I have seen it in so many uh, countries. Uh, Akofina and the Dasani. Um, we also have this called Pure Life uh, or Aqua. And also for the juices, uh, we do have them go, uh, going from $2.58 for this um, uh, bottle. Um, we also have different sizes and types. It all depends with the one you take or the one you like. And also the size will tell about um, the money you're going to pay. For this one, it's like $3.28, $5.00. Thirty-eight for such a big can, five dollars and forty-eight for apple juice, uh, the big big bottle. Okay, let's move uh, forward to something else. Yeah, these are some tissues, toilet papers, going for fourteen dollars and 29 dollars depending with how many they are if you go for the big pack you are looking into paying almost 30 dollars sometimes you will pay 20 something dollars 19 dollars depending with the pieces that are inside for a month supply uh, you're gonna be uh, spending uh, 14 dollars 15 dollars or 20 dollars plus tax depending with the uh, company or the brand of the tissue and also for the paper towel it's gonna also cost you around there those who have kids welcome 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 we have different types of diapers and wipes it all depends with the one that you use for huggies uh you can use some uh from 24 dollars all the way to 39 depending with how many you want and also I mean the package you chose and also the brand that you like for your uh, child so um you're gonna find all types of things here all types of diapers all type of everything it is your choice that gonna tell how much you're gonna pay here okay size and type these are some pampers and big pack and small pack big pack is 39.77 and small pack is 20 something 28 dollars meaning um you're gonna pay for the big pack you're gonna pay around 43 dollars when tax will be included we also have the little little packages that you can go for and they do not cost too much these are some breads going for two dollars and 94 uh very um it's a big bread it's not the common uh size going for two dollars and 94 cents and they have whole wheat they also have the white ones whichever you're gonna choose uh depending with the brand um uh, you're gonna and size it gonna be this like this one is three dollars and um 68 
sense and they come also uh with different types you see like that one was four dollars seriously four dollars and 38 cents it's like five dollars plus uh, when tax gonna be included and for this little little bread here is three dollars and 34 cents like a bread you can just eat and forget you had a bread it's three dollars and 34 cents how about sugar oh my god sugar used to be a dollar let's see how much it's going for after the inflation uh it's two dollars and 84 we used to buy it for a dollar and some and they have sugar from cane uh they have sugar like uh pure cane sugar uh like the organic one they have the um, icing sugar any type of sugar but they all come with different prices okay we have all purpose flour going for two dollars and 24 uga uh, for chapati um this is uh all purpose and we also have the big big packs going for four dollars and some um this is the huge one eight dollars and 98 for 25 pounds not too bad not too bad okay uh let's see what is next up here coming up is the cooking oil uh, we have uh, them in different uh, types like we have olive oil going for $21.53 uh, for this big can here for it's a gallon um, and we also have the vegetable we uh, this vegetable oil going for $12 and this this is one gallon also we have canola oil canola oil for $14.98 so you add up paying like uh 18 dollars peanut uh oil also going for the same amount of money the difference is only uh, uh this is 11 dollars and 74 cents and for canola uh vegetable oil you're gonna pay eight dollars and 98 before inflation we were paying uh just four dollars these are beans these are called pino beans and this is 8 lb this is eight pounds and not bad uh, price um, it's listed for uh, seven dollars and 58 cents we also have different sizes like that one you're gonna buy, pay a dollar and some this is some rice long grain this is something that can take you a whole month for fourteen dollars and forty six cents it also comes with different uh brands like this one this uh gunia musere a whole sack uh this is 25 lb uh all pounds we also have them in small sizes it's jasmine rice uh going for sixteen dollars and seventy four cents this is a whole month supply let's see what they have here they have the lentils this is a five dollar and 63 size but trust me lentils can feed those lentils can feed a whole village uh maybe for one week let's go to hygiene especially for ladies here these uh sanitary towers range from seven dollars and ninety seven four dollars and fifty seven depending with the size and um the brand we also gonna find some tampons for those who use them they are coming up here uh they are the next ones All these are different uh, brands of uh, sanitary towers and all they also have the panty liners. And now welcome to the tampon world. For those who use tampons, $7.96. Cents, so plus tax, you're going to be paying like $9. Do not even try to convert that. 
seven dollars and ninety seven cents nine dollars and thirty six cents four dollars and sixty seven cents now how about some toothpaste six dollars and ninety eight cents for three pack four dollars and ninety seven four dollars and ninety seven and these are three pack and also we have the one pack um three pack gonna be more expensive like this that one for equate it was four dollars and some because it's a pack of three which i believe is not bad we also have the individuals uh they also rage depending with the company but for this like color gate is six dollars for two packs and also let's see how much will some cologne and some deodorant be costing some are very expensive like the one for dove is going for ten dollars that's a lot of money and how about some mouthwash how much do they go for for that one month supply it depends with the size again six dollars and 97 and also the brand we also have the cheaper ones for three dollars and 98 that is pretty much four dollars plus and this one for six dollars and 67 for a twin pack how about toothbrushes some are expensive some are affordable you can also get something from uh, a dollar and something but it all depends and some body wash here for six dollars 97 for dove which is pretty much an expensive brand in america um this is eight dollars and shoot eight dollars and 97 that is almost nine dollars per sack is gonna be ten dollars plus for that bottle but they're gonna be enough for a whole month supply okay also the shampoo um this is body wash for five dollars 97 and trust me that bottle gonna take you and um, probably even more than one month yeah it is expensive yeah but i believe it's not a bad deal if it can last like uh two months all right we also have them in different uh shapes as well as flavors and sizes these are dove uh super expensive uh product here in america nine dollars 97 and this one is also a common one three in one uh this is shampoo conditioner and body wash wow that's a good way of saving so take a look at them and we are done bye guys <laughs>